Right, good morning and welcome back to the Average Golfers channel. We are going to be looking at two irons which are a million miles apart, maybe. A bit of an odd head-to-head, -head, but an odd one that you've been asking for because lots of golfers out there currently have the Ping i500s in the bag. And I think what you're asking the question is, are you in a position to swap from i500s to i59s? And I think there's possibly a bit of a leap, but we're going to test them out here on the golf course at Wallasey this morning. And I'm going to see if we can find out the differences in one, which is their kind of, it very much sits in the middle, but appeals to a broad range of players. That is the i500. Should have more forgiveness, bigger profile, should appeal to the masses. i59 aimed at that player's market. But can you switch from i500s into i59s? We'll hit a few shots and find out. Right, so I made a comment in the intro that a lot of you are considering going from i500s into i59s. Is that the case or is that just a minority of comments that I've read? So what I want to know in this video, how many of you are thinking about the possibility of switching up? And this is where I think there's going to be a big difference. I'm about to hit two five irons and we could see what sorts of men from the boys in these two clubs, I reckon. Look at that view, by the way. Wallasey Golf Club. Now, that was two five irons, and this is where I think I just said there's a potential issue. Although based on those two shots, there wouldn't be, because the second one, the latter was the I-59, would you believe? But I'm going to show you some close-ups of these at address, and this is where you start to notice some differences. A huge difference in terms of top line, but just the overall sort of bulkiness, if you like, of the I-500 compared to the I-59 is where the major issue lies. And it lies here at the long end of the bag. I don't think it'll become a thing when we start to look at the 9 iron, perhaps a 7 for a lot of golfers, but it's here right now. I was really interested there because I felt mega confident with that I-500 had address. I hit an okay shot with it, maybe got off a little bit of the bottom grooves. Ball flight was quite a bit more piercing and lower flight. The second shot, sh shot you've seen was of the 59. And again, when you're looking at address with that 5 iron in hand, you're a little bit nervy, but... It came out the middle pure, much higher ball flight, much better feeling shot. So, first of all, before we go any further, I think it's the profile at the long end of the bag, which is a massive separator. Well, you certainly feel different. Slight bit of alignment adjustment from the first to the second shot. That's pin I, that second one, which was the I-500, interestingly. Um, I don't think if we got there, we lost the ball over the bunker, the first ball, of 59, but I think if we got up there, uh, it'd be interesting, but I don't think they've travelled that far different, and uh, there are two degrees difference in terms of loft. 40 degrees is the strength of loft on the 9 and on the 500, 42. So you'd expect to see a bit of a difference and uh, that's going to be, that's going to resonate through the set. And the couple of shots I've hit so far, not hugely difference in terms of A, the ball flight and B, where they finished in terms of landing dif difference, even though the two degrees difference in loft. But I think very much noticeably, and I did a, I don't know which way these are coming out, but I did a review uh, of the I-59s comparing against another club the other day. And what I like about the 59s is when you're down at that lower end of the bag in particular, the feel becomes a major thing. And although I'd have no issues with how that I-500 felt, it was a lot purer feel, I suppose, that came out of that I-59. There's a lot of eyes going on here. It's a lot to uh, keep a track of. But um, two 99s, equally well struck flew the same if i had to pick one right now in terms of this end of the bag i'd have gone with that i-59 
Right, so I've got the 5, 7 and 99 all laid out in front of me of both clubs and uh, pairing them up to see aesthetically just how much the difference is. Straight away from laying them all on the floor, looking at the back side of them, each of the i500 is just the whole mass heel to toe um, the height of the club face itself it's just all bigger um, and then going to that top line i'll start off i said about that five iron we already had a brief look at it but at the top line it's quite significant difference again but i think the other review that i mentioned earlier is i did the p770s uh, versus the i59s and i think it's just in exactly the same way the i500s and by no means uh, bulky on that top line at all um, in fact i like the i like a bit of mass at this end this five iron end which i've already mentioned um, offset and again the way they sit at address there's certainly very much i think you could mix a set of these quite uh, comfortably in terms of maybe that lower end of the bag i'm going to just go straight to the other end of that nine iron this is where the profile changes for me quite a bit the whole sort of rounded uh, shape of the i500 just does seem a lot bigger um, and for me I much prefer the i59 on the eye at that uh, lower end of the 99 and we'll just have a final glance while I've got them all out together at the 7 iron probably similar again um, I sit in that camp like I said where I would rather play uh, the thinner looking blade like iron but whether i have the capability to do so and consistently play that is uh, is another story but looking at the two from address that's that noticeable difference but the idea like i said of maybe five six four iron in your um i500s and then into the i59s at the lower end of the bag i think is a real uh, possibility and it looks seamless in your bag as well Right, this club on uh, in my right hand is the i59, obviously this is the i500, and I think this is the notable difference in terms of the mass. Obviously there's a wider sole, this is a 7 iron I've got in hand, but what you're seeing there is that extra bit of bulk that you've got behind the club at address. And I think that's where, it's interesting really, because I think they managed to pack a lot into this i59 in terms of a little bit of meat that you don't perhaps see at address. But equally, they do exactly the same in terms of you not seeing the mass in that i500, but it's clearly there. And that extra help and assistance has surely got to be packed into that i500. So possibly where there's a little bit of a dropout is just their ability to pack so much into that uh, profile, the smaller profile of these i59s is where forgiveness may become that little bit different between the two sets of irons. Right, the camera's just gone on, I've just hit uh, two seven irons and um, yet again, the best shot was with the i59, by far. Um, flatter ball fight, both hit the green to be fair, flatter ball fight on the 500, absolutely pure the i59. So the question is this, people talk about categories of golf clubs, this is the first thing that sprung to mind. We talk about categories and the i59 is putting a player's iron. The i500, I don't know what it sits in a, well, I don't know what they categorize anything in now, but it certainly appealed to the masses more. So why is it this morning then that I've hit the i59 far better than the i500? And the reality is, it's the quality of strike and swing that you put on the club. And at the end of the day, it just shows that I don't like this categories that people put clubs in. I reckon I can play the i59s just as much as I can play the i500s. The only thing that differs is my swing and my quality of strike because honestly, I cannot believe the difference in between the two performances of the two clubs in my hands this morning. And the i59 has by far been the better club, in theory, but that was down to strike. Right, interesting thing first of all, these are both forged irons, well, sort of, and they're both a forged body. But I want to know what differentiates these two because if they're both a forged body then it's the insert that has got to be the difference, the only difference because the face is the same as well as far as I can work out. So it's got to be what's in the middle of these things that differentiates in the feel because they do feel different. Um, for me in terms of a forged iron the closest one that gets to a pure forged iron is the i59 and the 500 has still got more of the clicky feel that i would have likened to the likes of the uh, p790s p770s that you've seen in earlier videos but it's here again nine iron typical shot that i'd play from here and and bump up the hill and i'd prefer to have this in my hands that i've already said difficult shot on camera and I think uh, do you know what 
I don't think, I can't see the uh, bottom of the flag, but I don't think that's too bad. But the feel out of it is really good. That's the bit I was trying to emphasize here. I'll see if I can notice much of a difference in playing that same shot with the i500. Yeah, it's just a much, it's not done bad to be fair. Take both of those, a little bit left with the i500. But the thing for me is the real noticeable difference between the feel, like I said, both forged bodies, but a massive difference to nine irons. And uh, if you're blind tested on those, you can, they're chalk and cheese in terms of, in my opinion, how much better the i59 feels than that of the i500. Well, you won't pick up that from there. Oh, do you know what? I actually think it's gone through the back. It's uh, 180. I've moved on to the ladies' tee, 16th here at uh, Wallace's. Absolute gorgeous golf hole, par three. I chose to go a little bit further forward because it was 180, which I thought was on the limits in terms of this. And it probably was in carry, hit the green, just rolled through the back. I'm going to finish on that iron shot. I, well, I'll probably hit another one with the i500 because I'm enjoying this this morning with the sun out. But the reason I'm finishing on that was because. I started the video, can you swap i500s into i59s? I think that shot there tells you that the yes you can. Because what I've learned in this test more than any other that I've done over the last few years is that there's a slight myth that a game improvement iron or whatever category you put the i500s into are uh, for one particular golfer. And the i59s, let's call that a blade, a player's iron, are for just that category of golfer because they're not because i wouldn't put myself in that category of the player's iron but i've had no problem with it at all this morning the biggest um shock that i've had has been the forgiveness level whatever you want to term it sweet spots i've just been able to hit this iron as good as i've been able to hit the i500 so it's either a massive tick in the box in terms of what they've done technology wise in the i59 i don't know maybe that could be the thing but they've performed incredibly well if i had the choice on a personal level i would probably look to go up to a five iron in the i59s and maybe my i500s might sneak in there in a four iron or something perhaps a five i don't know but i've had no issues with them whatsoever i think they feel better they sound better they look a bit better in terms of if you want something sleeker. So as a head for head, it would be I-59 all day long for me, but I have no problem with those I-500s either. So it's a sit on the fence job in that, but I've hopefully you've been able to differentiate between the two, what I found at least. And then the answer to that question at the beginning, can you swap from I-500s to I-59s? Well, the only way to find that out is get out there and uh, go and try them yourself. And you'll soon come up with the answers, but I reckon you can. I'm so shocked at that carrying, uh, carrying to the green, you know. Oh, what a shot that is to finish. That's on the flag. Oh. What a finish that was. I always look around. Did we carry on recording? Oh. I'll finish off with two gems there, two five irons. Wow, pick the bones out of them.